So to just go back, we go edit um, logo, and this will edit our logo program. Um, set the text scale to seven. Okay, Control and S. Save the logo. Exit and monitor back logo. Okay, I should probably make like a hole just for uh, just so I can test this quickly. Oh. Oh, apparently that's a max size. This basically means that the number we put in um, exceeds the range, as you can see, which is 0 0.5 to 5. So 7 is, yeah, 7 is too high. That's a slight problem. Okay. Edit logo. Maybe I'll just leave it as 5 for now and have a play with it later. I'm not really... I don't want to spend too long messing around with it because uh, <laughs> it's just going to be me fiddling for quite a while. <laughs> So, uh, monitor, uh, monitor, monitor, back, logo, let's just have this running for now, and mess around with it later, I think, it looks okay, maybe I'll just center it and put it down a line, and I think that would, uh, work sufficiently, yeah, okay. That seems good. I could probably do that now, actually, but um, before I get too distracted, let's work on this bridge. I wasn't really sure about how I was going to do this bridge. I thought maybe like an oriental style would be pretty cool, um, but I wasn't really sure how that would look in the end. Um, so I thought I'd just sort of roll with it, and then if it doesn't look good, I can always just kind of tear it down again. <laughs> it's not kind of a permanent structure, so yes, okay. I have to be very careful at this placement. Um, probably be easier to do it from the water. Okay, I think I'll go up one more here. <laughs> Shush, GLaDOS. Shush. Okay. Bing. Bong. Bang. And now we're... Yeah, so hopefully from the side this will look... Fairly cool. I might have to like put a few more micro blocks in. Kind of looks slightly wonky at the moment. Let's see what happens when we uh, finish the thing. The thong. Okay, I'm gonna need some more slabs. Here we go. 14. Should be should be good. <laughs> Shove off, skeleton. Nobody wants you here. I'll probably just jetpack over and <laughs> That was close. Uh I think he has an issue with these blocks. I don't think he's tucked. If I stand here. Oh, okay, never mind. He can hit me. Okay, low. Die. Oh, there's two of you. Go away. Go away. Go. Thank you. I've got bridges to build. Bridges to burn. Um but yeah. And now I think with the side, what I might do is go ahead and make some cobblestone microblocks or something along those lines. And yeah, go from there. Oh. Skeleton! Okay, so I've placed the the few microblocks I needed um, around the edge of the bridge. I'm not sure if I like the height on it. It's a little bit big maybe for what I wanted um, but I guess at like I think it's generally because I put it too close to the door that's gonna be a slight problem but overall I, I don't think I mind too much so uh, yeah it's reasonable um, but we're just gonna pretty much roll with it <laughs> and see what happens my plan for this was basically build like little pillar supports and then just build a quick fancy railing over here I don't know if I want to extend it into this like wall, so it looks like it's kind of joined. But I li I'm liking the uh, <laughs> the look of this kind of fur with the cobblestone. I think that's pretty cool. I might just add one here, so it looks like that's got more. Sp oh, <laughs> oh god! 
Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. Hopefully. Yeah. I'll fill that in later. Um. Actually, shh. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I think for the supports, I might try using these things. I haven't really had much experience with them, so don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but they look pretty cool. They're like little pillar things. Oh, but they need to go on the end. Ooh. Okay, not quite sure how this is going to work. However, if they do work, it might look pretty cool. I have to see about this. I might have to put like something on the outside, maybe. Ooh, okay. Or I think they're the same as the other ones, so I might just go back with these. Okay. Try and get them closer. But I don't think I can put them in the corners now, so I'm gonna have a little bit of an issue with that. Um okay. Yeah, slight problem with that. So now it seems I can only put them against something. Well, there's an easy solution to this. I just build a uh, up around. But it's not gonna be pleasant. Okay, so one there, I think. Uh looks good. And one there. Okay. If we go like we did before, just by kind of spreading them out a little bit, not too much, hopefully. Maybe that would be good, I think. I left a gap there, so that one just goes here. That looks fairly good. I like that. I like that a lot. So, now that we've got that sorted, um, let's go do the other side. Da -ba -da. Okay, so now what to do for the tops of these things. Maybe it might be a plan to try and use these covers. And kind of go... No, I can't really go in the middle for these, unfortunately. Maybe we should try cutting them in half. Is that a thing? I really hope that's a thing. <laughs> I'd like to be able to do that. Uh, so let's try that. Um, yeah, it looks like. But they don't really cut that evenly. I must admit. Yeah, very unevenly. Okay. Huh. Slight problem. Okay. Must be some way to solve this without much budget. <laughs> he says, hopefully. Okay. Uh, maybe we can just use some more of these things to kind of... Why are you going that way? <laughs> Rage. Okay. So let's uh, let's try this out. No! Why? Why? Okay. That's that done. Um, I'm gonna need some more of these, so... Luckily you get like a bunch out of just one one kind of small stack of wood, so making it is not an issue. Okay. We may need to put some more dirt down here. And ta-da! <laughs> okay, so I kind of went a little of kill on the micro blocks here, but I think it's okay. The only part of it I don't like, which is why I'm kind of signing at the moment, is the outside. As you can see it's sort of a bit bland. Um, this is because basically like there's a there's the whole block there and that's only half a block so if I try and place anything it kind of goes um, half a block over. Which is not what I want. Luckily I was managed to get it on the inside so the inside looks a little pretty. I'm not sure about these things I just put them in for fun. Um, they can look kind of odd. I get I mainly put them in to spice up the outside I think it looks a little cooler like that, but uh, inside it just looks kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe I should make it out, of, I think I should make it out of like cobblestone instead. Probably be a little little more uh, interesting, because I think the wood kind of clashes. 
um, with the design. Eh, who knows? Thoughts anyway. I also centered the text on the console near enough, so uh, yeah, you can sort of see. It's a little, little far over to the left, but it's not gonna make a difference. It's cool. It's cool, guys. Um, so I'm kind of happy with this. I think it looks looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot better than it was anyway, with just the blank sort of everything. <laughs> um, so I think I'll leave it like this. What I'm planning on doing is a like as I said, stuff here. And also, I think I might clear this giant place here. Give me a little bit more of a view as I walk out. <laughs> Looks pretty cool from a distance, I have to admit. I like I like that. <laughs> now we just probably need to update that part too. And I just need to work on these towers. So hopefully that should be in a later episode. It's going to be good. I also wanted to have a thought. Because, um, of course, I only have this console here at the moment. I was thinking maybe what I'd do is make a blast door. So when this door here opens, there'll be a door here that closes. I thought that would be pretty cool. And vice versa. So basically when this door's open, I'll walk in here, type it in, that door open, that door will close, I'll walk out. Uh, so this will stop like mobs coming in and all that sort of stuff. Which well, should be slightly better than what it is at the moment. Um, so that's my thoughts and hopefully we should be able to put these in at a later date. Okay, so I kind of went ahead and uh, built the second door. I was thinking about like making another episode maybe on it, but then I started doing it and uh, yeah, forgot to record, so sorry about that. Um, as you can see, I pretty much did it like I did the last door, except the benefit of this was I didn't have to do any extra programming. Because basically what happens is when this motor goes, our next motor over here will basically do the opposite. So when this one opens, that one will close, etc, uh, etc. Et I'm just going to cover that up because it looks a bit yeah, naff from down here. There we go. That was a panel, right? Cover. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, the blue electricity just stretches down a little bit. Uh, used up all my spare wiring getting this through there. And it basically does whatever the opposite of this door does. Um, so that's kind of nice. It's kind of once you've got the first door set up, it's like really easy to make an airlock, um, and it looks pretty cool, especially since if you go through, I have to go through into this little kind of security room here to actually open it. If I close my main door, it should then open up my second door. Gets a little frame rate intensive when you do that. Um, I think it's because I've got all the other stuff here too, but yeah, as you can see when it's opening frame goes down but then it, it, it finishes and it looks okay. So it looks pretty nice. I think the entrance to our base is looking awesome. I need to obviously I need to do something with that. That does not look good. And also yeah also this top bit here. The tower, wizard's tower and we still need to add a little bit to that bridge. It's not quite done yet. Obviously the room around there. <laughs> I feel we'll all in time, all in time. For now, I think it just looks... The front of it, I'm really liking. Really enjoying it. It looks awesome. Just checking there's no creepers around me, so... <laughs> I don't blow bits of my scenery up. I'm not sure what to do with this place. I'd like to make some sort of bigger farm. That looks more farby. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. Also, maybe I should have something around this water. Maybe I should grow, like plant like <laughs> do flower arranging <laughs> or something along those lines I'm not sure yet uh, I definitely want to do some of the farm with the animals in I think I might expand it because at the moment it looks kind of like a factory farm where you've got all your animals <laughs> kind of penned into one cage <laughs> as you can see there's a bunch of them especially sheep Jesus Christ look at those sheep um well I have to see about that I'm not quite sure yet. Let's put uh, something down. In the entrance. Okay. But I like the bridge. Even though it goes like way too close to the door, I like it. I like the style. I like the look. And you get off my roof. Get off my roof. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time for some mine. What? Mine more crack. More mine crack. Okay.